Battling with your gear shouldn't be the focus of your next climbing outing. The Patagonia Cragsmith 35 offers a really unique entry that makes organizing gear very easy and a comfortable suspension system for those longer than usual approaches. Let's take a look at its features and what makes it so unique. First thing I wanna call out on the Cragsmith are the materials in play on the exterior of the pack. So we've got a really super durable core dura material throughout the entire body of the pack. It is treated with a DWR finish, so it is gonna shed a light rain if you get caught out when the storm hits, but it's a really nice durable puncture and abrasion resistant fabric. The sides are padded to offer a little bit of structure and the bottom is reinforced so you get even more abrasion and puncture resistance on the bottom side of the pack. So overall, excellent materials in play provide really good durability. Taking a look at access for the pack, we've got a really kind of traditional top loading style pack. So it does have this upper portion here which opens up to allow really easy access to your gear, whether it's harnesses, helmets, something you may wanna keep on top you've got really large, spacious access from the top of the pack. But when you get to the crag, you may have gear buried in the bottom of the pack. It's not gonna be as easy to access things from the top. So Patagonia has a really interesting access point that's actually on the suspension side of the pack. So you can lay it down face in the dirt so the suspension system doesn't actually get really dirty. And it has a large clamshell opening on the back. So this entire back panel will open up to access all of your gear. So it's really interesting, really easy to get in there and really grab whatever you need, whether it's just your quick draws, a couple extra carabiners, some climbing shoes, whatever you need to access, you can easily get to it right like that and have kind of just a nice, easy pack when you're at the crag. Another cool feature is that this back panel is reinforced. There is a, a frame sheet in there to give you some structure and protection against those, those sharper or harder materials. It is a hydration compatible back. So we do have a hydration sleeve here with a clip and there's a pass through on the back panel. So the hydration actually stays separated from all of your climbing gear. There's also this nice little zippered stash pocket. You can store anything there like extra snacks, maybe a cell phone or a wallet or your keys if you choose to store that there. So really unique access, really easy access to the pack it makes it very simple and efficient when you're out cragging. Some additional things I wanna mention, that suspension system that we have in play is a really comfortable airflow mesh suspension system. So you've got good padding on that back panel with that frame sheet, gives really good protection and comfort. And that mesh is pretty breathable, so it keeps you relatively cool on those longer approaches. We've got nice padded shoulder straps and a nice padded waist belt as well. Not most substantial, but they will give you some support and transfer that load to the hips. So definitely a comfortable system there that makes it easy to carry the bag. On the top, we do have another pocket. So it's another small stash pocket, easy to stow your, like I said, your phone, your wallet, whatever you need to stow up there. There's also a key clip to store your keys so they don't get lost in your pack. So really nice, pretty spacious pocket on the top of the pack. On top of that pocket, we do have a nice lash strap on the top. So this can secure a rope to the top of your bag, any other gear you may want to attach to the outside, but there's just this nice metal buckle that cinches down to the top of the pack. Also gives it a little bit of compression as well. So nice extra strap on the top. On the side of the pack, you'll notice this vertical pocket. It's like a nice guidebook pocket. So you can keep your guidebooks in there, relatively small guidebooks, but they'll stow there easily. It is padded, so it won't damage the items inside, but relatively thin pocket, good, like I said, for books or maybe some other smaller items that you may wanna hang on to. Some final little features on the Cragsmith 35. We do have these lash points all around the outside of the pack, so you can definitely store some extra things, clip them to the outside. And on the front, we've got these daisy chain attachment points. So you've got some nice additional points to lash gear if you need to. So for a nice, easy, organized day, either at the climbing gym or your local crag, the Patagonia Cragsmith 35 is an excellent pack to keep you comfortable on your approach.